Hey guys, Hu Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. In this video, I figured we'd take a look at something that's a little more common for ladder players to come up against. And so I've found a replay here with Dream. And he's up against the biggest, baddest ladder hero of them all. <laughs> The, the dirtiest cheeser on the planet. It's Haas. So we're going to be watching a game between Dream and Haas. And yeah, I think I think this game will be uh, really helpful to a lot of players. Whether you're a beginner player, bronze through gold, or a much more seasoned player, maybe up in the Diamond or Masters Leagues, I think this is going to be a really helpful analysis. So we have Dream here opening up with a pretty standard build order just a 14 depot 16 gas 16 racks if you're really new to the game you can go check out my beginner Terran vs Protoss build order just by searching on YouTube for Terran build order now so far everything's looking pretty normal this probe is coming at a pretty regular time 120 and obviously, making the gas geyser there is uh, not normal. <laughs> so, already, I think Dream is starting to realize, okay, this might be some sort of cheese. Possibly. Gas geysers are pretty cheap, though. So, it's also possible that this is just sort of an attempt to constrict Dream's options. And that's what this SCV is going to be for. To confirm what exactly SOS is doing. So I'm going to pause it in just a second, just so we can talk about, you know, what Dream saw here. Obviously, Dream is a pretty strong player, and so from his perspective, he can figure out what's going on pretty quickly. Um, but I know for beginner players especially, this can be a lot of information that you don't quite know how to distill yet. Like, for example, most diamond masters players are going to be able to look at this really quick and be like boom proxy <laughs> but you need to be looking at a number of clues here so a lot of this information you can ignore for example all of the probes you can basically just ignore so the probes are meaningless because you're not going to be able to count them all and everybody's going to have lots of probes no matter what they're doing but you do want to pay attention to a couple key things here so the pylon is really important um and normally, with a normal Protoss Builder, you would actually have two pylons. So that's one of the main clues that Dream is realizing here, is that there's only one pylon. So after seeing that, it's very likely a proxy. And we also want to know what kind of proxy. So it could be like a gateway proxy, could be a Stargate proxy, um, a Robo, proxy Twilight Council. So there's a lot of options. But one of the main clues that's going to tell us which proxy it is, is the uh, gases. So here we can see that there's two gases already. And so because of that, it's got to be one of the um, more gas heavy proxies. So it's probably not going to be a gateway proxy, for example. Okay, after Dream realizes it's a proxy, the very first thing he does is grab this Reaper and use the attack command while holding shift to just trace out this area for proxies and the reason he chose this area is because it's going to cover this area for one and it's going to cover this area over here and both of these areas are very common positions for a stargate proxy so remember we saw double gases and a pylon missing so we know it's a proxy and it's very likely a gas heavy proxy and stargate is one of those gas heavy proxies so that's what we're looking for right now back at home we can talk a little bit about this gas deal now so if you ever face something like this on ladder and you haven't you know seen a tutorial or you don't know what to do it's just a simple matter of uh, problem solving so normally we're making this marine and this reaper and we're gonna get a bunker down here to defend the adept so that's one of the constraints of dealing with this um, gas geyser so you have to eventually be able to defend the Adept while also dealing with this Gas Geyser. So there's probably a couple ways you could do it. I'm assuming one is the best. Usually there's one best option. 
but we also want to be able to scout with this reaper so dreams decided okay this reaper can't really come home and deal with this because it needs to be scouting for proxies and we need to get this marine into the bunker by the normal time so i can't just use the marine without these SUVs. now if you were going to figure this out by yourself you would have to um, see how long it takes to kill this gas with just a marine and then you would have to add a couple of SCVs until you find the, the perfect amount. But in this case you can just remember three SCVs and one marine is going to be enough to kill this uh, gas geyser and get into the bunker on time. Okay, now Haas is going for a robo proxy, but Dream has still not found it. He's actually just searching around the map right now trying to figure out what's going on. In the meantime, he's just basically following the, the normal build order. Although he did make one adaptation, which I think is pretty clever. He decided to just not make the reactor as early as normal so that he can save an additional little bit of gas and get the starport at the normal time. So he'll get that reactor uh, later in the game. But for now, he's going to skip that. Get the uh, tech lab started on the factory pretty early and also get the uh, starport on time. Okay, so we finally found the proxy. So we know it's a robo. And we're sending the Reaper back in to see what's going on. So we've only seen one tech building. You also wanna kinda know how much Produs should be getting on one base. Like, let's say they're all inning us. How many buildings should Protoss have? Or how many units and buildings should Protoss have? For them to be all inning us on one base. And if you don't know this, it's going to be really hard to figure out what's going on. But generally, Protoss can build like four-ish buildings to do an all-in. And so far in this game, we've only seen a robo, basically, and one gate. So this is pretty strange, right? We've only seen a robo and a gateway. So at this point, Dream is thinking, all right, Haas is a pretty weird guy. <laughs> he could be doing anything. It's probably still some sort of one base all in. So he set up a bunker here, obviously, and he's getting another bunker over here on the left side. So currently Dream is thinking this is probably some sort of like three gate robo build. And the gates are somewhere out in the map that I just haven't seen them yet. So that's what he's looking for. Now, remember earlier, we didn't see any proxy Stargate, so he's not making anything to deal with um, an Oracle. And if it was an Oracle, it'd actually be quite bad. And the reason it would be quite bad is, uh, I mean, we've seen the robot now, obviously, but if it was proxy Oracle, it would be quite bad because he never took an expansion. So now we can basically just prepare for some ground pushes. So we're going to set up the siege tank. He's getting another bunker in the main because uh, Haas could be going for that um, like War Prism 4 gate, which it looks like he's doing right now. So Dream, if I go to his vision here, you'll see he's focused pretty heavily on uh, dealing with this. Okay. Let me know if you, uh, if you notice something weird <laughs> based on our prior you know ideas like right now we were thinking okay Haas here is going for some sort of all-in right but he only had one stalker and one immortal and now he's harassing us and not warping in any units so immediately you got to be thinking okay what the hell is going on <laughs> what is mr. Haas up to he's obviously not all us anymore right He's got to be getting, you know, some additional attack or, or something here. So immediately we should be thinking about Dark Templar. And you're going to see here that as soon as Dream is feeling confident. Okay, I defended that. That's weird. Um, oh, fuck. DTs. <laughs> he throws down an eBay. Right? Because that's one of the main things that could be coming next. It also could be some sort of other tech structure, but they're just not strong options. Like, for example... If Haas went, you know, Warp Prism drop into Proxy Oracle, it wouldn't make a ton of sense because 
he like what is he gonna kill SCVs and then okay dreams already really ahead in SCVs so if if uh, Haas kills a bunch of SCVs then who cares right not a big deal uh, but DT's on the other hand makes quite a bit of sense so we're gonna get this eBay we're gonna throw down a turret and we're also gonna see what's going on behind this uh, attack so <laughs> it's kind of funny dream sent his reaper out and then he used the all army hotkey but his intention was to uh, see the natural of Haas see what's going on is there an expansion or you know is um, is Haas planning on some sort of secondary all in after this which doesn't really make any sense anyways but um, it's a pretty good habit to just get as much info as you can so dreams gonna come in here see that there's a nexus building and right after he saw that nexus he realized oh okay it's actually gonna be fine if I start my transition so you can see that a lot of these top players are very um, specific and uh, structured with how they do their transitions so we're coming in here we are harassing but that's not really the main point of what we're doing here we're really trying to get that scouting info and then secondary objective is to harass a little bit okay so we're pretty confident that um, there's something else coming we're probably gonna see DTs and here they are so good thing we realized that Protoss should have had a lot more uh, units with that first attack and from here Haas just taps out the game is uh, completely over Dream has almost a fully saturated second base and Protoss needs to have like six or eight more workers and uh, and Haas here has like one at the natural so the game is completely over you could just transition over into like a 3-1-1 push and uh, and end the game from there so hopefully you guys learned a lot thanks for watching I will see you guys in the next one <laughs>